All right, guys, um, we are not in the basement. I just want to do this quick little video here. Um, because in the last video, we did the Crazy Climber uh, reveal video, and there were some graphic glitches on it. And uh, James Davis here on YouTube left me a comment saying that he had the same problem, and it was ROM number six, okay? So I pulled ROM six off the board, and it's right now in my uh, EEPROM burner, my EMP10. And so I downloaded the Crazy Climber ROMs from the internet. I loaded up file name CC06, okay, right here, which is ROM number six. And then if I come up here and say verify the device, which is the 2732 ROM that's in there, equals buffer, I get a program verify error. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna burn a new ROM 6, and I have the board over here. You can see I pulled ROM 6 from right there. And what was happening was, um, on the Crazy Climber game, if you guys didn't watch the last video, is that the Condor was glitched out, and then on the door, it didn't say Nichibutsu on the building, and then also the Nichibutsu logo was messed up too on the building. So I'm gonna go ahead here, and let me grab a new 2732, and let's quickly burn this. Okay, so I have a new 2732 in my EEPROM reader. We can look here and we can see the brand. There's a little ST logo. So if we come over here and I go to select device and I go to SGS Thompson, which I believe is what ST stands for, and then the model on there was, man, wait, wait, wait. The model on there was M2732A. So let's go ahead and select that. So now it's setting up the EEPROM burner for that particular device. It's initializing. All right, so now we're ready. Let's make sure the EEPROM is erased. These are actually brand new ones. Mm, it's not erased. I bought those on eBay. I thought they were erased already. No ping on. All right, I went ahead and grabbed another one from this sleeve. Again, I bought these on eBay. So let's see if that one comes up as erased. And it is. Okay, good. So now, we just have to go here, load file from disk, and the path is C, Crazy Climber CC06. So load file from disk. Okay. So now the, the CC06 is in the buffer, and now we're gonna say program um, with selected algorithm. Basically, it's gonna dump the buffer onto the chip. All right, so we just have to just let this go. And the speed of this varies between chip type and manufacturer, so we're gonna let this go. It might take a minute or two, but right now it's programming the device. So it's sending the data from here to here. And by the way, this, this um, I just picked up this this power book, a uh, tough book, sorry, Panasonic CF29. I got that on eBay for like 40 or 50 bucks because my, my old Athlon PC, the power supply blew up, so I didn't have a computer to do this with. Um, and this computer's awesome, but the one requirement is that it has to have a, a, a is this serial or parallel? I always get these mixed up. It has to have a, a parallel port, which it does on the back here. So, pretty cool. All right, I'm going to pause this, and we'll come back as it's burning. Okay, it's done. It says device successfully programmed. Um, it verified it. Press any key to continue. And we can just kind of double verify. Say verify device equals buffer. And it does. All right, so let's go to the garage. Um, I'm going to pull this out of here. And then we'll put it back in the board. I'm not going to bother making a label right now for this, but this is an old school John's Arcade video. <laughs> I should pull up my old point and shoot and do this in 480p. All right, so that doesn't want to go in. So I'm just going to kind of bend the legs a little bit. 
And by the way, I I verified one of the other ROMs, ROM 11, just to make sure I had the right ROM set from the internet. Because I just downloaded from some MAME site. Um, let me just double check my work here. Is that looking right? It seems to be all the way in. But I, I, I just vi uh, downloaded some uh, ROM set from some MAME site, like Cool ROM or something. And I verified ROM 11 first just to make sure I had the right ROM set and it verified as correct. And then when we verified 6, it did not. So let's go to the garage and try this out. Okay, I have the board back in. So let's go to the front here. Oh, God. Well, that made it worse. <laughs> okay. Um, I just put my other EEPROM 6 back in, and now it's back to normal. So, I don't know what ROM version I have. Um, I used the US ROM set. ROM number 5 was okay. And then I just tried the Japanese ROM set, and I compared ROM 6, and I got a verify error. Um, so I don't know which ROM set I have. I don't believe I have the Japanese set. So this is a big mystery here. Do you guys know? Um, but you can see, see how this is all glitched out? I wonder if I should try burning a Japanese ROM 6. Let me do that real quick. Okay, I just burnt uh, ROM 6 from the Japanese set, and it also looks like this. So, I seem to have a unique ROM set on this thing. I'm going to have to poke around because um, I tried the American set, I tried the Japanese set, none of them verified on my ROM 6, and the Japan, Japanese and the USA ROM 6 that's in main both give me this result. If I put the original back in, it looks normal, just has a glitch on the, on the logo and also the Condor. Very strange. There's clearly multiple versions of the ROMs that are out there, and the ones in MAME do not match my board. Alright, well, I wanted to do this little video. I'm going to keep poking around here. <laughs> this is not my weekly video. I just wanted to do this little thing today because I, I was thinking about this, and I read the comment about ROM 6. Um, but we should be working on the Mortal Kombat tomorrow Sunday. That's my plan, okay? <laughs> we'll see how I feel when I wake up. So hopefully, I, hopefully you guys don't mind this quick little cell phone video. Later. Bye. All right, just real quick. I, I put my ROM 6 back in, and you can see it's back to normal. So uh, Also, that viewer said that if I were to get Yokin's online high score save kit thing, that it would probably fix my issue. Um, I mean, the issue I have is pretty minor, but it would fix the issue because it comes with its own set of ROMs and bypasses uh, I, I, the, the security. I, I guess that this green thing right here is the Z80 chip that's encased in plastic. Um, it's some weird security measure. I don't know, maybe I should order that high score save kit because I want this to save scores and I also want free play because I don't have free play either. I, you know, I think I'm going to order that. Let's see if we'll order that. We'll do a proper video installing that and, um, and then we'll see uh, if the graphic glitches go away with that high score kit. I, I think it's likely that it would. So anyway, all right, that's it. I'm going to keep poking around. I, I just actually went on the internet and there's like literally two ROM sets for this game on the internet um, that I can find. The US version, the Japanese version. Uh, so I don't know what version I have. It, it seems like it's, it doesn't match those other versions, so very strange. All right, just a quick random video. Hope you guys liked it. I'll see you soon.